That's another story, unique story. I met him in 1971, I think. I was sixth grade. I met two guys. One was Cornell Green, and one was Clem Greenwood. These guys, over time, became my closest friends throughout my entire childhood, my, my school age years. We went over to Attucks Junior High School in the seventh grade. We decided, Clem and I, we were going to play football. Well, we decided we would go and play for Bastion Elementary School, the school we just graduated from. We decided we would make the, the mile run home each day because it would be better for us to play with kids more our size as opposed to kids our age. And so we did it. Coach Jefferson and Coach Smith, they welcomed us and gave us an incredible opportunity. After we finished up that season, we were eighth graders and those addicts had eighth grade football. Clem and I decided, you know what, uh, we probably ought to just skip it. We're not going to play anymore. And when I went to school, Cornell went with me too. He wasn't a football player, but he went as well. And I was homesick from day one. Matter of fact, Coach, you got my $20 my mama gave me. I want it back. She gave me $20 to ride the trailways home. And I attempted on, on several cases, occasions to escape. And he took my money. But one day, Cornell said, man, I got some guys were going home. Met a guy from another school, he drives a car. And somehow our wires got mixed up, they left me and I cried the whole weekend. And Monday morning, they were talking about this car wreck. And it was Cornell now. And he didn't make it. He didn't make it. And I didn't make that ride either. Put me in the draft and I'm going to the Redskins and Two weeks before I get ready to go, I'm at home, I'm pulling up on a Sunday morning to my mom's house after church, and this young girl from the community runs up to my car, and she's screaming, and she's hollering, and she said, Clem took his own life. And so I came to Washington, D.C. Both of my buddies were gone, my sixth grade best buddies. It was tough. But when I went back to a and I met a family. They were the Melendez family and a good friend named Doug Taft. And they told me about a man named Jesus. Jesus saved my soul. He gave me a different perspective on life. He showed me that I can be a man and I can walk right. The things my son talked about. I can have integrity. I can be honest. I can be faithful. I can be true. And so I brought that what my parents had taught me and what Jesus had said and I put that to work in my NFL career. And God told me not to leave Washington, D.C. I belong here. I belong here.